people aren't realizing how um, how pro level people. You know, people go like, "Oh, I have kids, I can't do that." And I was like, "Well, nowadays there's so many cameras that as long as yeah, you can put them in their playpen or not playpen, their crib, give them uh, toys." Put a really creepy camera up so they know they're always being watched. No, the creepy part is when she's um, staring looking at, at it? yeah, oh. staring at the camera. There's been a couple times where she's Mama? falling asleep and she just stares. Da -da. Or uh, <laughs> no, the creepiest part is when it's nighttime and her eyes are like glowing. Oh, that is extra creepy. It's like reflecting camera. off of it. <laughs> she's staring at the camera because there, there's I think the tiniest little green light off of it, but I don't know if that green light is behind the camera or in front of the camera. So like I don't know if she sees that little green light. Oh. That'd be extra. That'd be extra creepy because a child doesn't know what a camera is, she and just stares and at she's it. like. Staring. I think there is a really small red or you'd green have light. To you'd have and to. So she sees it. It's she's so funny. interesting. She's definitely Miss Independent. Like mm -hmm. she loves being held and stuff like that. But she, oh. you put her in the crib, and she's like. Remember when we would go camping or go to the cabin, and she would be sleeping in the pack and play and hate it have miserable sleep and I think when you're, when you're telling me you would put her down into the cr crib for the first time after a tr three day trip and she she's already sleep. smiling yeah. as she's coming down like yeah. it's like she knows you the know? last time I think we went camping we only went for like two nights right when we went to lagoon um yeah and it was the same thing she we brought her back and she just laid down and was like had this big smile on her face <laughs> I was like, oh, you love your crib. Yeah. No, that's cool. No, I, I, it's, it's kind of nice to when the kids, I think something about positive. When a kid can entertain themselves and have that alone time, it's, I think it's a wonderful thing. Oh, yeah. And she's, I think, a mix of both because Jack was, he was interesting because he is very independent, but he also hated being alone. So it was like, mm -hmm. it, it. I it's wouldn't say he was independent. I think he is independent now. Like he's not, his yeah. love language is not hugs but, and affection, but yeah. It's and so time. I guess he wasn't independent, but he wasn't usually when a kid like wants somebody there, they want to like snuggle or like, but he just wanted somebody like around him, mm. but still be doing his own thing. Yeah. Beckham, she's just like him where she's like, put him in there and they're like, just introduce yeah. themselves. Yeah, I wonder if it's a creativity thing. I'm I'm also curious because I wonder if she's it's a girl thing, right? Because girls, from from heard, traditionally, yeah. are more prone to be like I'm playing. playing house or I'm playing dinner or I'm yeah. playing you know all these things. And so that's quietly, quietly, <laughs> you're using your imagination. Your stuffed animals are your friends. The boys never really did that. Uh, you know, the boys Beckham is the only one that had this whole thing where like he just loved his chase, his little dog. But he never really pretended that Chase is a real thing. He was just kind of like, I just want to it's hold It's all them. about guns and fighting oh, and easy. chasing what a, each other. What a right-handed kid. Or a right, uh, right-winged kid. <laughs> God, they love their Nerf gun side, geez. people. These kids. Oh, my gosh. They're crazy. Yeah. Which, like, I guess from having just two boys for the longest time, I never really thought about how different girls are. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't remember being that crazy when I was a kid, but you know, you, when you have two young children and they're both boys, I'm just like, oh, this is just how kids are. And now I'm learning with having Harper. Oh no, this is just how boys are. Wait a second, wait a second. Are you implying <laughs> that no, there's nothing. two genders? <laughs> no, I'm implying. Is this a where you're, because you're going to get canceled right now, lady. You need to stop right it. You need to stop right that now. right now. No, I'm just saying they're crazy. Um, how dare you? Okay. But I should stop now. But I like how just, you're terrified. Yeah. <laughs> Expanding I'm on that. Scared. You're like, I'm going to get canceled. No, they, they're just like, even today, I, they were at my mom's house. They played in the pool. I know they like got their energy, energy out. They came home and were just insane. They just mm -hmm. running around the house yelling and screaming and fighting each other as they're unloading the dishwasher. And I'm like, who are you guys? Why can't you just like quietly <laughs> yeah but you're also like i'm pretty sure some people are listening and going oh yeah listen i'll take that any day if they're gonna unload the dishwasher i'll take that any day true they did unload the dishwasher so as they were fighting with the cutting boards yeah. and my glassware yeah like, no no you, i was gonna say something inappropriate in like the way it is like me but uh, it's you listen you're you're living the dream because yeah. most of the time the story p parents go is like well, and they were crazy. doing that earlier. So they were just both fighting. And I go, well, if you guys are going to like be wild, 
Go on the dishwasher. It's like me saying, and then she was yelling at me while making me a sandwich. Like, <laughs> like wait, wait, you're lucky. Yeah. Like, ch- chill out. Yeah. She did it with an attitude, but you she know still I, did it. You know what I miss? And I don't want to be sexist about it. I miss... Sandwiches? Sandwiches that you made. There's, there's, a, there's a two-parter to this. There's one parter where it's like, I think there's something to be said about... A meal pre- prepared by somebody else always tastes better than what you make, right? Yeah, but I make dinner. You do make dinners, and your dinners are fantastic. And I was ranting and raving about you to you, nobody else. <laughs> Just to me. <laughs> so you're welcome. Thank you. You should feel special. <laughs> I kept this between us. Yeah. When you make that delicious wedge salad, I was like, ooh, this is your, this is your, you should just be one of the, like, your My go-tos. top, top. Yeah. Not go-tos, like, on every single day, but, like, kind of, like, keep this as your, like, your, like, you want to impress special. somebody? Keep that one. Mm. Um, but... You have a few meals like that, which is, I mean, you're a great cook regardless, but you know how, like, okay, so here's the interesting thing. Uh, steak. Do you get blown away when you have steak? You're like, no, it's steak. It's good. It's steak. There's only been like maybe like two or three times where I'm like, this is the best steak I've ever had. Or, or but, but you don't know how like you but go like, like best steak, but like, or the best meal. Like to me, I remember specifically the first time you bought the, uh, the, the, what, what cut was that? What, what's the cut we just had? Tenderloin? Ten, no, was that tenderloin? No, it wasn't. It was. I it think. was okay. Beef so beef tenderloin. Beef tenderloin. Is that what it was? Interesting. Or no, no, it was the something with the M. What is it? M. Anywho, you you got a cut, and then you did this delicious um, mushroom sauce over it, and I was just like oh, crazy about I think it. The was tenderloin the first was, time. I don't know. Um, and I was crazy about it. And, and it just kind of, it's like one of those meals that sticks in the back of your mind. And then another time was we were in Seattle and we were at, at uh, do you remember when Dan and Rita, our friends, got married? Uh, we went to this hotel thing uh, bar after the, the wedding and we were in the lobby. Uh, no, 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 that's not, that's not the case. It was that hotel. I went there on a date with a girl <laughs> before I knew It wasn't you. me. Before I knew you. That's, oh, my god! This is like, this is the cool. Oh, my gosh. Well, <laughs> This is like this. This is this is like the no 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 no. You did something like this to me before. Do you remember your fiasco with Swedish fish? And that was you. You were like, I bought candy. I bought your favorite Swedish fish, and I was like, A, I've never had Swedish fish in my life. Though because B, I (laughs) tasted. I was like, I don't like these, (laughs) and you're so convinced. You know, but let's okay. My track record of having a good memory, and your track record of having good memory. Yes. So wait, vastly wait. different. You're and who has a better memory? You, a hundred percent. hundred percent. hundred percent. So unless it's a funny either, movie. <laughs> no, you were either, you were either trying to impress me we, when we were dating and told me you like Swedish fish, or you straight up lied to me. No, why would I lie to you? <laughs> Do you love absolutely love Swedish fish? No. So why would I lie to you? Would like be like you? you is, it's one thing if you were like, oh, I love Swedish fish. I'd be like, I love. I love it. I love Swedish fish too. That's not there how the conversation. Time. I can't if, remember if we were if dating or crazy. married, but it was like really early on, and I don't know if we like got some somewhere. But you're like, oh my gosh, I love Swedish fish, and that's why the- I didn't even we know went- what that is- <laughs> candy is until and I met. Then you- we went no, 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 bowling or played pools one time, and I was like. <gasps> I'm going to get Swedish fish because I know he loves it. And I've never really like loved it. I now, don't I'm really not like to- gummy candy that much, but I thought I was going to like surprise you and be all cute and sweet. And you're like, what? Is- I've never, what? I've never had this before. Uh, I don't even know what this is. I, th- that's exactly what it was. So no, 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 no. I'm, con- I'm, I'm willing to put money on the fact that you went on a date with some no, schmuck no. who was way worse than me. <laughs> Much uglier of a too. specimen, much uglier, not funny, a, a bum, a couch, no potato. tattoos, no tattoos, you know, still calls his mom. Yeah. Okay. His best friend. <laughs> uh, and I'm convinced that's the guy that you were on a date with. And then I he's like, I oh, I love Swedish fish. Admit to and you're like, I don't think that's the truth. I, li- I 1000 percent in my heart believe it was you. Listen, have <laughs> we know you don't BS a BS her, right? We know that. Yeah. You don't BS a BSer. That's like that's the the law of the land. But what do you mean? You think I'm BSing? I don't think you're BSing it, but I I just want you to know that I'm not BSing you. Okay. Though what I just said doesn't make sense. Don't BS a BSer. I think you just forgot that you told me that. That I like Swedish fish when I didn't even know what yeah. it is. Yeah. Or it's like me saying, "Oh, I just bought a catalytic converter." You're like, "I love catalytic converters." Like you don't know what a catalytic converter mm-hmm. is. Why would you say that? 
Well, and also Swedish fish can go to hell. It sucks as a candy. The reason they're wh- okay. I don't hate it. No, them. no, no. Here's the problem with Swedish fish, and I've only. It's really like, hard to say too with a, a person in, who was born in a foreign country. Swedish fish. Yes, it's it's a it's a mouthful. First of all, foremost, but second of all, uh, when when you first bought it, it's the first time I've ever had it. Hand on my Bible, uh, on the Bible. That's the first time I've ever had it. I don't believe it. Here's the thing idea of it is cute it's basically gonna overgrown gummy bear right but not as but it has like a different taste sure you know what it is but red dye 40. <laughs> red dye 40 100 percent, and they're red too yeah um, that's what it is because i was i always thought red dot 40 didn't mean that it was red i just thought it was a chemical that's in it but it's red dye so yes. i don't know why i said that, that it's funny that yeah. they're red because that's what the name is mm. well, again this is how mm. much i don't know about this candy <laughs> You asked me about Almond Joy. I'll tell you the origins about Almond Joy. What are the origins? It have, started with one guy eating <laughs> shitty <laughs> Swedish fish candy, and he's like, we should have something better. Let's have an Almond Joy. Chocolate and coconut. Chocolate and coconut. <laughs> Look Boom. how she's sleeping. Oh, my gosh. We're creepily. <laughs> this is when you're an uh, like expert level right. parent. You're, on the monitor. you're running a business. You're creating content. She's sleeping like this, like she's flying. And you got a baby tummy. camera in front of you just yeah. to make sure. you. Yeah. Um, we love our children. Well, we're trying to not go to jail and be parent. You know what I mean? Like, we're not trying to be negligent with our kids. Um, so I think with the first time I bit into them, uh, first thing that crossed my mind is this piece of candy is way too big for this minimum. Like, it's like, it's... What do you mean? You have to take, like, five bites of it. Right. Yeah. Like, I guess it would be far more appealing to me if it was, like bite if it was smaller pieces. I would probably throw them in my mouth like gummy bears, but they they were they were too big that you're like okay, so I guess I'm biting off of this. It, yeah. Like like the people whole, really love them. Like um, okay, prime example. Um, you take red vines, or if you are on the other side of the debate, a debate and say uh, 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 licorice, right? Those are the two arguments. Red vines is licorice. Oh no, but what there's Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Yeah. Red vines and Twizzlers. That's the two the two big debate debates. Oh, son. So, I know. About I, I don't. Too. I don't. Did you I, grow up in the nineties? No, or not? I grew up as a fat kid, and I refuse to go back to those times. Okay. But that I've means reprogrammed. You ate a lot of candy, probably. Yes, I did. And then I, and then I, I, I <laughs> starved myself, and I beat up myself, and I got in shape, and I refuse to go back, and so I've reprogrammed my mind to hate. What is so good? you blocked everything out of your memory. Yes. I see. Yes. So it, we you were, really did love Swedish fish at one point. No. Mm, you admitted no, to it just no. now. Even yes, as a fat did. kid, I was like, what is I this bogus bologna? I think you blocked it out of your memory. That's why you accidentally one time said, I love Swedish fish, because that memory if you, somehow got out and was like right there. No, and then no. you went back and no. blocked it again. Listen, so. maybe if we're going to believe in reincarnation and in my previous life, I was something and somebody else, sure. But in my present life, the 33 years that I've been alive, I refuse to go on that journey with you. I will say this. You take the Swedish fish itself and you create it to be a third of the size that it is, you know, a little bit more bite size or fun size, if you will. And I would, I would, I would support the argument that it's, it's, far tastier than it was and larger. Mm. It's like taking, okay, here's my argument that I, that I was trying to uh, set up for you. It's like red vines and Twizzlers, but let's imagine in a crazy psychotic world, somebody made it six times the thickness that it is already. So instead of being about a half thing. an inch wide, it would be, uh, I don't know, an inch and a half, two inches wide. And you take a bite of it and you're like, too much, friend, too much. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> Another I'll, one. I'll take Another some. One. I'll take some. We had there. This but, is okay. This is yeah. the age-old debate, though. Oh. Twizzlers or red vines? None. But if you had to pick one, like like a, a, a head to a gun to my head, you'd rather die. But why do people? <laughs> I'd rather be like pull a trigger. I'm not having either. No, of. like if you had to choose, like somebody. Yeah. What's the one that you can pull peel apart? Are they both the ones Twizzlers. you can pull? Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Yeah, I'll take that because oh. smaller. When things are no. smaller, they're a little bit more fun. No. Okay. Red vines are the OGs. They are the OGs. Who cares? Of Here's licorice. the thing. You can't say OG is better. Sometimes OG things get better. perfected. Here's no, what nobody said. <laughs> the first Tesla no. they came out with was the best. No. That's the when people, what? the Tesla they came out with, the first generation Tesla, guess what? Had a lot of problems, friend. You got to wait till the fifth edition comes out and you go, oh, they work some kinks out. They figure some stuff out. No, 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 no. Not in this case. This case, OG is the OG. Why? Okay, tell me why. What's your what's your supporting the argument? Flavor. Twizzlers what about it? Don't t- t- Red vines. They have that licorice flavor. Twizzlers have a plastic flavor. Here's the thing, <laughs> I am out of my school of thought right now because I 
I don't have a sweet tooth. Right. I like sweet stuff every once in a while, but I don't have a sweet tooth. So for me, I'm like... I mean, I would pick chocolate over any of those any day. I truly don't know what each yeah. one of those independently tastes like. Can't remember? I can't remember because I don't eat it because I've never gone like, oh, let's get that. It, to me, it's as weird I as... I will say... The psychos that are at the store in the candy aisle and they're buying... A, like kids, those are the psychos. They're buying warheads. And they go, why? I'm like, why are you putting why yourself through? Why are you... This, you're going to... Plain, you're going. You're going to an island, island of pain. Why order do you do to have the pleasure? It's after? like the fun for them. It was like Jack would be like, "Dad, these are the the most sourest ones or the, there." When and I'm they like, get talkies that are like so spicy. No, those are good. No, those are kind of good. I I got it. Jack, Jack is obsessed with them. He, he suckered me into yeah. it, and I was like, "Let me, let me see what these stupid things are about." And I like I took one. I was like, "Let me get They're a couple so more." Spicy though, like I can't do spicy because it oh. takes away all the flavor of everything. Anyway. Going back but it's a to fun the, roller coaster, yeah. though. Okay, what's your thing? It is a roller okay. coaster. Well, I was just saying, I, I'm the same in terms of, I don't, I don't, if it's chocolate, I'll eat it. If it's anything else, I would actually pass. That's why, for me, it's like. So then why'd you buy Swedish fish? For you. <laughs> I'm sure there's some guy out there. I do there. so much for you. There's some. I just, I didn't, even, I was going to get some, the Snickers, but there's some I was Sergei. like, he loves Swedish fish, so. You should have bought a sweet uh, Snickers. I know. I would have been more, much more happier. I know. Now um, I know you well enough to know. Um, do you know Talk what I was? A, I, I was a suck. So right now, uh, almond joys are my favorite. But you, you and the kids kind of ruined it. Which God bless your heart. But how uh, we got you them too much? You got them too much. So again, bless your heart for doing it because you guys were always like, you always thinking so about me. This is what we get for and thinking about. No, me I know. And I, listen, I'm supporting. Them. I was like, I'm like, you guys are sweet. You guys are at the store. Back and was like, just like kept him in a, hidden in a shelf instead of eating them. Well, no, but like I would eat like you were you were so nice that there like there'd be multiple times a month that I would have them and it's great. But then, you know, when you do it so often, like it kind of loses its mm -hmm. its its uh, its appeal appeal. I don't want to say level of excitement, but like, yeah, it's like that appeal. You're like, this wasn't as fun. I mean, right now it's actually been a good minute that I've had them. Yeah, and now I could actually you crave it. it. You also just like knocked your, almost knocked yourself out with that microphone. <laughs> that was cool. I wonder That's if people I wonder if people heard, heard like this giant thump <laughs> like on their like speakers. I'm really bad with these mics. They're not my thing. They're not your thing. No, they're not my thing. My mic currently has two uh, pieces oh, of tape yeah, on them. Oh, two. That's right. Oh, three. One, two, and three right there. The orange, um, black, and blue. This is a uh, and I'm not supporting any that, country right now. I think well, black, it's Boise State. Orange, so you're black, supporting, black. Oh, that is, supporting yeah, that is Boise State. Look at local that. Local basketball. Football. Or football and well, basketball. Both. Yeah, but let's be honest. Is Boise State really known for their basketball? It is now. Is I it really? Like, well, a little See? bit. But yeah, no, they're football, not. They're football. not. Hey, hey, they're hey, better. who did they play <laughs> any time this last year? <laughs> Nevada. <don't> Nevada. <laughs> safe bet. That's a safe bet. Safe bet. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, this, th this thing is on its last leg. I feel like you need to order a new one. Because so if once this thing once this thing completely does go on, we us, need to order one before it's gone because they we're gonna set not, up yeah. to do a podcast yeah. and it's not gonna work here's and then the, we'll be screwed. Here's the problem. I I well not the problem. You're right. That's a hundred percent right. We will. Well, actually, this is the problem. I have to get two because uh, I'm not gonna replace like this style. I think the next one we oh, get is gonna be a stand up one. It's so much idea. easier to set up. Yeah. I think it's gonna be inconvenient because we have to get a little, a little bit closer bit. to it. But um, it's and these well, are these are cool. They're we'll pretty. We have to do. Maybe. Let me borrow some money. Let me spot no. me some money. Let me, no. borrow, let me borrow. Hey, uh, tell. Do you want to share those news? You sh you you pitched an idea to me yesterday, and I think it would be a. I, I feel like we pitched so many ideas on this podcast, but like, not all of them. Yeah, I feel like what you mentioned yesterday. Fruition. I told it to Kyle, the videographer, and I he was he was uh he was he was on board for it. Oh, that's not what you told me earlier. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, <laughs> He said Kyle said he quits when he heard the news. <laughs> so tell him, tell him what you were thinking. Because I, I, I'm, 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 I, I think it was a great idea based off of like what we've been doing. Well, I, it, it just feels like a natural progression, which I love because it doesn't feel forced. So I've been casually kind of making small appearances in your video. In the last couple of years. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, it's been on and off, but mostly it's just been you doing them. And every once in a while, when you want to make me the bad guy. Well, that was just make, only recently. Put me in the video. That was only recently. Yeah. Mm, I feel like there's been a couple of times. Well, what do you, what do you, can you recall another one? Mm, I'm then trying to think. Didn't happen. Yeah. The lights. The, the lights. The pendant lights. Oh, let's be honest. A thousand dollars on two pendant lights is obnoxious. Listen, I bought whatever. an obnoxious car. 
But still, those pendant lights, <laughs> which are even a small percentage of what that car costs, is still it's like a sillier. <laughs> it's still a sillier purchase than that. I was the bad guy in that. And how often are those lights actually turned on? Let me they're ask you. They're on right now. I turn them on and they are not on right you now. You know why they're not ever on? You put the freaking light switch on the wrong side. It's not the wrong <laughs> side. <laughs> That's where they're that's what they're lined into. And most kitchens, almost uh, almost like I would say nine out of ten kitchens, and people can hey, listen freely if you're watching this podcast. Um, it's on inconvenient YouTube. to go around the island most, and turn the light fixture on on the what is it called? Like the The, the wall, the, the main wall. wall. So like where the hood is and all the drawers. Yes. All of the other lights. Every single one of the lights, the the can lights. Hey, sis. Hey, check this one out. You know those three lights are for? The kitchen main lights, the dining room main yeah. lights, and the breakfast yeah. bar lights. Why couldn't you put the pendant light in Where the it, are the sconce lights? Under the sconces. Yeah. Right That's below. Why those are never on either. It's too much work. Every time <laughs> lights are put in in these houses... There's um, that's not true. Pendants nine are nine out of ten. The... Nine out of ten times. Nine out of ten. Not brand new construction, but it, there's been a history of it where nine out of ten times the pen, the the pendant lights would be a separate light switch that's closer to like the inner part of the kitchen. I don't think so. I don't believe it. Okay, we'll Next just time, leave it at that. So every time we go to people's houses, we should check it out. <laughs> hey, can I? Where are your pendant yeah, lights? Yeah, let me. Hey, weird I question. Check mark. Yeah, we'll weird do a little question. tally system. Um. I will do an Instagram story with a, a vote thing on where there. People's where are people's? Lines. Okay, I like it. And then what happened? We, well, we got to put a wager. So if I'm wrong, um, I will do something that you don't want me to. So Ooh, um, I have to think about okay, that. Okay, so there's here's the thing. Much, oh, no, no, let's do this one. Right now. If, if I'm right that the majority of the people's pendant lights are, gonna are spaced them? away from uh, the main light switches. Okay, spaced away is, no, you have to be specific. Okay. It, spaced away could be five feet away yeah, on yeah. the same wall. Okay. What I mean is if it's on the same wall as yeah. the like the rest yeah. of the cabinets. So I, got, like I, got away, a, I, I got something I want to tell you right oh, now. No. I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm saying like if it's, we have to, we have to specify like a distance. Mm -hmm. How much, how far away is our light, yeah. the pendant light switch to the regular light yeah. switch? Okay. How far would you say? Our regular one from the, the, the so from how far yeah. the two light switches are away from each other, the yeah. pendant versus the regular one. Uh, well, it's just across the room. So I would say if the bar is four feet wide, I would say it's like twenty feet. If the bar is four feet wide, yeah, but you have another at least six feet between the bar. It's probably ten to twelve feet. Did you say no way. four? I said twenty. Did you say twenty feet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're going to take a pause right now. Okay? It's Here's 20. a pause. You can't lie, though, because I'm going to look. I said 10 to 12. You said, said 20. 20. It was 15. It's 15 feet. Wait, it was right in the middle. I was not okay. that far okay. off. Okay. Okay. Hey, ask me what made me want to put the light switch there. Ask me. What made you put the light switch there? Nothing. That light switch was already there for the <laughs> previous pendant lights from the original builder. I get that. No, you don't. <laughs> that was a builder building houses that, that they okay. do. Okay. And I just went from these Backtracking, I didn't know that it was already there. Lights. Huh? I, backtracking, I didn't know it was already there. I thought you put that there. It doesn't matter. The logic is still there. <laughs> That's what also, they do. Also, it was a peninsula. Which made it more inconvenient to I come there. I why they would do that. That's what they do. Why? They put, why? Because they're, the, the idea is you turn on your main lights and then you're going to set the mood basically for these pendant lights. Why can't lights. you set the mood? Well, I got a better question about... for you. I got a better question for you. Why not just put it all on one freaking exactly, switch? Exactly. That's what I said. I was just going to say the same thing. Because some people didn't finish high school and they decided to build out. No, I'm kidding. They, I, I don't want to <laughs> knock on anybody. No, who's there in has the to be a reason, but it's not. Fun it's not. Uh, oh, why don't we also tie into that same circuit? The disposal, uh, the garbage disposal switch, huh? How about this? You turn on your lights and you just have a constant. No, because garbage use... disposal is fine okay. because it's a little button. Okay, so next here's, to your seat. here's how they typically do it. Here's how they typically do it. So where the peninsula was, 
the sink was there too, right? So mm -hmm. you have one switch that's a hand reach, a reach away for the disposal. And then about a couple of feet to the right of that, that you can just kind of walk over, you can turn on those pendant lights because you're already standing in front of the, 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 the raised bar, the raised bar. Yeah. So you're kind of, imagine you're a bartender and you're like, let's turn on some mood lights. You're behind this bar and you flip the switch and that those are the mood lights, right? That are over the bar. Right. But. So the idea is the lights are almost under the area those pendant lights are in. But when does somebody think about that as they're doing the dishes? Oh, you know what? I want to set the mood. I'm going to turn the light on. Well, it's more like when you're entering the kitchen, you think, what do I have? What do I want a lot of light right now? Or do I want just a minimal amount of light? And I think about that when I am turning the main switches on, not like, oh, I have to walk all the way over here because I want just the pendants on. Here's the way my mind's processing it is, uh, there was no, there was a tiny little island, but not an island you can sit at, correct? Yeah. So if somebody's gonna sit, they're gonna sit. And there the, were any pendants above if, that breakfast bar. Correct. Yeah. The pendant lights were over the raised bar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which peninsula. Is the peninsula. Peninsula. You you have people sitting there, or let's say somebody comes over yeah. and says, "I'm not gonna sit at the dining room table. I'm gonna sit at the yeah. raised bar." They sit at the raised bar. It's too dark. So the the person that's on the other side mm -hmm. of that raised bar goes. Oh, well, let me flip these lights on so you're more illuminated. I think that's the I mean, that makes is. sense. But I guess going to like the an actual island that's separated, it makes less sense. Which Sure. I mean, I, 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 if I, I, mean I totally understand. I, if it, I was you, I wouldn't move a light switch if it's already there. 100% across the room. I just thought you put that there yourself, like with the electrical. And I was like, why would you do that? Why can't you just like add it to the other one? No, But if it no. was already there, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. I also um, think it's a silly thing to have the pendant lights separate from the main lights, unless you want to truly turn off the main lights and only keep the pendant lights. That to me makes sense. To me, the way it I was. It should be a separate switch, but it should be on the same like panel as all the other ones. That's all I'm But saying. now think about the other perspective, right? I You're hope like. This is not a really boring conversation for Oh, you I think we started with how we, you know, we take care of our kids was more boring than this. I think this is <laughs> more of a we're like this uh, is kids a, moving on this is uh this is this, this is that getting makes more me exciting wonder, like what else is like functionally in homes that doesn't actually like is not functional or is not practical I guess okay so uh, be functional but not okay, practical okay so okay so yes yeah I think I think um well I'll say uh functional okay I have a very functional thing that I'm really for that I think more houses need to have. They don't, but I think you're going a different direction. You want I was functional for not like, practical. Like what are some things that, and maybe you guys can comment on some stuff that's like just you've noticed in your house that people still do or have done it before. Cause our house okay, is 2005 I yeah, go ahead. that are just like not practical at all. And I think you can, you have more experience because you deal with the remodel side of things. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of, you yeah. more understand more like this was not a practical like choice for yeah. the builder to do this. Here's one. Um, fun uh, uh, you said, you said practical, but not functional or, or functional, but not practical, not practical, not yeah. practical. Uh, so here's one. Um, and we've a kind of experience with this house, but, but then we, I think some of the submissions that we've had in previous past from people doing the awkward spaces we saw is whenever builders would put in, um, I don't want to say faux, but windows inside oh, of walls into the other were room. So, those were purely like decorative, decorative thing. And I, so I think, dumb. I think, I think uh, in terms of their, their winter functional, but not practical, I think it's functional in terms of it might, I think the intention was to make the room look bigger. And, and also, and that was like, their attempt at open concept. Yes. Like it's kind of closed, but also we want to be able to see into the other room. If we like, you know, are in the dining room and somebody else is in the other room, mm -hmm. we want to be able to like chat. Or, uh, well, I don't think it's here. a chat. I don't think they're going like, hey, and you like, you like a neighbor. <laughs> Remember that, that, that scene from yeah. uh, Tool Time where, <laughs> yeah, hey, neighbor, on fence, yeah, on the hey, fence, neighbor. Wilson, Wilson and Wilson. Tim. Where which I, I don't yeah. think it's like that. I don't think it's like, hey, I want to, I want to, let me talk to you. Open concept feel. Open concept feel more, uh, uh, you know how like we'll paint walls w lighter colored and make it look airy? Yeah. I think that was their attempt mm. at airy. I don't like those at all. There's no privacy. There's, There's no, well, not privacy. There's no like. But also, if you're going to have, like, you want to do that with bedrooms then? Yeah. You either have a wall. Or you don't. Or you don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> There's no half walls. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, that and pony walls. Pony walls is another one. I yeah. was like, what are we doing to pony walls? Why, and why do we do yeah. what do we do? You have horses here. You have, yeah. First of all, let's not call them pony walls. Second of all, are you like, I want to put a wall, but I'm not sure. So let's go halfway. Like, where are you going to go with like that? I don't like it. 
So that's my like that's my I don't know if I have functional any, except for corner fire places. But that's not practical. That's just my opinion. Okay, well, so give me your... Well, I mean, that might no, be the thing. So, but it's not because it doesn't... The practicality is not part of it. It's more the look I don't like. So I, don't I like guess the look. it's a little different. You got to hit us with another one. I yeah. mean, you got to hit us one of actually... I don't know I if think, I have I any think, that are not practical because I, think, I don't experience that as much as you do with Well, you've been remodeling. enough houses. Yeah. You've been enough houses. Uh, I do think... I think you're wrong about... Uh, and I'll say it again. I think you're wrong. Mm. Um, about corner fireplaces or disliking them. I think, yes, aesthetically, it's not symmetrical. And, and as a person who's OCD is like myself, who, sees, like. who sees awkward spaces, right? So I see like, okay, there's something's missing here. And you've, you've, give, you've, you've accredited me with that, that, that ability to say, hey, you can, you can put your two cents on this and, and it's, a, it's a valid Spatial. thing. Spatial awareness, I guess that's the, the word for it. Uh, but corner fireplaces do make sense because if you think about it, the TV is usually the center of a room, just like a dining room table is the center of a room, right? So if the TV in the living room and the family room is the center of the thing and the fireplace uh, is adjacent to that, to the side of it, then you kind of have like, here's this, here's a secondary thing, and maybe there's some bookshelves on the right. What I, oh, I have another, oh man, I have another Wait, continue functional this one. but not practical. Well, it kind of leads into this thing. So like, again, so if the TV is in the center room, it's in the middle of the center console. And, and if you don't have a center console, maybe it's a media console, a media center down below. It's in the center. And you're like, but I well, also want a fireplace. Is, yeah. Do you put the fireplace? You either don't have a prior, fireplace or you put a fireplace as a secondary thing somewhere. The, the fireplace is either the... Okay. Okay, I get, you lost I, we'll, me. We'll lead into Wait, you lost my me. second submission of... No, we're not talking No, no, but it'll address it. It'll address it. It's, it's, it's the second submission of mine to functional but not, but not practical. Um, okay, so what I hate is a cent I, I like center fireplaces, but what I don't like is when the TV is above that fireplace because it's not, it's, 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 it's functional. But we did that with our corner fireplace. We did that with our corner fireplace and I hated it because in our first house you're talking about. No, right now. Well, right. We do. Oh, yeah, that's true. We did right now. And I don't like it. Why? Because we're constantly staring yeah. upward into the corner. Well, so it's, it's almost like crinking. Like, it, not that we're complaining about neck pain and you're, as you're rubbing your <laughs> neck right now. But it's like one of those things like it's functional, but it's not practical. that You're constantly like looking yeah. up for a TV. Well, that's the reason. And then we're going to look up at the TV and look down at the fireplace. A lot of houses have the fireplace shelves on one side and a little like... Um, on the right kind of thing. No. Nope. Skewed left or skewed a, right for a thing. For a TV, which I don't like either because it throws off the balance. My thing is, why not make the mantle just a little bit lower and then put the TV on? The problem is they make the mantle so high that, that of course, the TV is going to be like. Well, the TV is always going to be up like that. But our like, first house, the fireplace was on the ground. Fireplace, I want to lower the mantle because there's a lot of room. You can still lower the mantle and have enough space between the actual like fireplace area and um, be able to put a TV without it being so high up. Because I agree with you. I think it's like kind of weird. Like, whoa, that TV is way too high. But it's the mantle that makes you put the TV that much Correct. higher, right? So Correct. if you lower the mantle, you don't have to put the TV as high. Well, that's that's a, that's a great thing. And then the TV burns down from all the heat <laughs> coming from the fireplace. <laughs> no, it's fine though. We'll get multiple fine, TVs and we'll, we'll just cycle through the we'll TV. Have, yeah, and you that is the... how you fix a problem. <laughs> No, but I think corner fireplaces, it's, for me, it's more the look. But I also think they're awkward because um, whenever they're built, there's always a space next to them. So it's like the corner fireplace. There's always a space next to it that's meant for a media console. Okay. But it's such an awkward thing, like ha like having the the fireplace and then a media console and, and then creating this own little space while trying to be seamless and unified with the fire with the fireplace. And I always think it never looks good. I've never seen it that amazing unless it's in the middle of a room. And when it's symmetrical, when you have a fireplace, shelves on the sides looks awesome. Can I propose a solution? I know a solution. No, can I propose? You have mine? a living room that doesn't have a TV, <laughs> and then you, you have another b media room that at, has a at, TV. At the stepmom's yeah. house. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's where you'll be going. <laughs> What's I, your solution? My solution, and hear me out, I'm thinking two fireplaces. <laughs> <laughs> one here, one here, three fireplaces. 
I like it. <laughs> yes. And the thing with our house is it's even more awkward because there's a fireplace and then there's this tiny little area where it's just blank and then there's windows and windows. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, you can't even, unless you fill in those windows, you can't even create this like other media center um, on the side of the fireplace so it's like what do you even do do you have to do you do like a, a tall bookshelf do you do i don't know hmm. there's too many okay do you have any uh, I mean, those are great no do i haven't you, thought about it honestly do you you can't have me submit all these uh functional but not oh no no no. oh you are you're talking about another, i feel like i had another Practical. one and i can't remember um it was good something well that one was mine what do you know i led you to the water no, but I said corner fireplace, so the next one's yours. Oh, corner fireplace. Do you fireplaces. have any more? Oh, yeah. I have. I have yeah, I can. Um, one oh, I will say there's one that I don't like. What's the up? vents on the ceiling. Don't like that. The ones that we have in this house right now? Yeah. It's, I think this is called the return flow, I think. And it's they're the, like circular, and they just look... Ugh. So every time I take a picture... Really, but you got to think about it. Okay, so... I noticed them. So they're functional, but they're not practical, right? So it's... There's certain things that are placed in your house... That are there, but you don't pay attention to them. Yeah, I mean, I do guess you that's truly practical. pay attention to I them? I do, but I, that's because I pay attention to everything. Oh, really? The girl who is always getting herself hurt in the house. The girl what? you're when getting, getting you're getting yourself, you're you're stubbing, running up corners because you're not when, attentive. When is the last time I did Just, that? Uh, when you bought the Swedish fish. <laughs> Someone is going crazy. Remember when you had that bruise and we had to find an excuse why you had that bruise? And it's like, oh, remember because you're <laughs> I'm so I'm not clumsy. running into stuff in the house. I, I'm not going to say you're the most attentive person. I, f I feel like I've gotten would you, better. Would, no, but would you agree with me or am no. I just being mean? Well, I feel like there was a time in my life when I was clumsy. but I Was that like usually pinned better. with the undecisive part of your life? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. That's fair. Like no, it's fair. No, it's fair. Do you feel like I'm, I feel like I'm a lot better? I think better. you're better. I think you're a lot I'm better. More so I think that's, I'm just trying to support my it's own It's been argument. a learned, a learned. A, lear a learned did. Learned it process. Um, no, I think I'm just trying to find excuses for, for pinning against that. Um, I think truly, I just don't pay attention yeah. to, not to say I'm being, oh, he's just a guy. He doesn't you notice these the things. The thing is, though, I don't pay attention to that stuff in other people's houses. It's it's when it's my house, I pay attention to stuff because I overanalyze. Man, I wish we would have had that differently. I wish we, this would have been different. I wish so. that switch was right there. Wish that light switch was closer and like where all the other light, other light switches are. Gosh. Okay, so let me ask you this: in the bonus room, we have those two in the rec room, the the two vents on each wall that are sticking out. Is that like? Yeah. Which, by the way, why didn't you paint those? Because I painted them on one side and it looked gunky. It looked like you're trying to hide too much. In fact, can you take it off and try to paint it and then put it on? No, I did. It's it's that's not the case. It's like when it matches, it you look like it looks like you're trying. I don't want well, to say it, it looks, looks really bad with white. I don't think so. It looks really bad. I don't think so. In fact, the ceiling. Can we do um, like black? Black would be a different story. I'd be, I would what be if for we did black. Bl I feel like it would be better. I'd be for black. It's just such a contrast. Well, but so are the light switches and stuff like that. Yeah. If, the, if you did maybe everything black. Are least. you kidding me? Painting the light no. switches? No. Get black ones. Really? Yeah. Do you do a poll? No, I'm not saying it's not gonna. It's it's gonna look uglier. I think it'll look better. It's just how many light switches are in that room <laughs> that you're complaining? One, two, but three, it's a panel of them. Four. That's four light switches, but right? It's a panel of them, right? No, no. There's there. three on one, four there, five, six. There's six light switches. Period. How many lights? Yeah. For okay. what? Oh, oh, you pay attention to how many vents we have? Do you pay attention to how many vents we have? And then we have one. There's two vents. Uh, two. Outlets. Uh, three, what if four, I buy them? five, six. It doesn't matter who buys them. I'd, I'd buy them. You install them. That's what I'd rather do. I can do. install them. No, I'd, I'd, I'll we buy them. We can make a video out of you it. Paint. No, we're, who's going to watch us painting light switch covers? No, not painting. I'm saying buy them black. Buy them black? Yeah. No, that's a different story. You're not going to like the black ones. They're glossy. All of them are they're, glossy, they're, but I just don't they're like They're black the glossy, like the cheapest looking plastic glossy. But, uh, you they know. They get matte. You can't. They, they don't know where they sell them unless you special order some. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Am, I have Amazon a, has everything. I have, I have a personal custom maker of <laughs> <makes Amazon>. everything. <laughs> it's Amazon. Oh, man. There's a reason why Amazon stock is $40,000 a share. Right. Oh, gosh. But, well, we'll see. <laughs> I'll type in matte black outlet cover. I'm sure you'll find them. For $60 a piece. <laughs> oh, and you're like... 
Oh, listen. It's worth it. It's not like, because when I see $60 a piece, I'm like, I'm not buying it. You're like, oh, $1,000 sconce lights? Oh, pendant lights? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> worth it. Worth it. It looks so good. <laughs> it's something about that white. It's just, that's what looks cheap to me. Is the white on the green. The other side, green on green, looked cheap. Oh, look at it. I haven't seen clean. it. it See, to me, it blended glunkly. in Glunkly. That's what I said. Glunky. It looked glunkly because it's not a word. Because I didn't say it's glunky. clunky, and I don't think clunky. it looks... It looks like gunky. paint is gunked up. Yeah. Gunky? Okay, gunky. I don't know if that's a word, but I like it. Yeah. I think it works. I think it works. Gunky. Yeah. So that's kind of... That's what the mentality is. <laughs> Do you want to tell people, though, what your... Oh, you, we're going you back to me? that. Yeah. How did we skew away from what we're doing? The way we do it every time. This is how time. our brains work. <laughs> this is how we talk at home. Yeah. <laughs> From one thing to another. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know how to jump into it. So you looked at the some of the comments and you saw that, that people are liking when your cameo appearance oh, in some Oh, well, don't make me sound like that. You're like, I saw... People love me. The people have spoken. <laughs> They're asking for their I queen. Feel, yeah, people just love me. No, I just was thinking because I've in the you've been watching more like car videos lately and just um, since we're going to build a cabin on the land that we bought, we, you've been watching. The this is also the first videos. time you've said we've bought as opposed I to I bought. Yeah. Not to say like I want you to say I haven't it. seen it yet in person. Well, like you, I was like, oh, like, oh, you're, you know, the land that you bought or your land or something. I'm like, even our land. Yeah. And I'm like, you're like, yeah, but it's just. Feels like it's your land. I was like, "What? Why? Why do you? What does it feel I like?" I think it's because I did. I haven't seen it yet. It just oh. hasn't like really sunk in. Well, me. maybe if I mean we've never signed a prenuptial agreement or anything no. like that, and you're already going on record saying you said I bought it, and it's <laughs> <laughs> and it's not nope. ours. How much is your life insurance policy? <laughs> <laughs> not enough, I guess. Not enough. Um, hey, well, listen, we got a life insurance policy on you, too. So yeah, dude, two true. could play this it's game. True. I think it's the same as yours, too. Well, mine is a cheaper <laughs> premium than you. No, it's the same exact premium. Nope. Oh, you went lower? No, like monthly. Oh, premium. monthly. For, oh, big. Okay. <laughs> That's because women live longer. Yes, and we're healthier, apparently. No, you're not. <sighs> I think we are. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, I think I'm equally as healthy as you. You are. We're the same. Healthy. Not to say We're the same healthy. I think, but I think traditionally, actually, you're probably the, more healthy. The guys you. are much more unhealthier than yeah. the traditionally, girls. Traditionally, yeah, that's why the premium is higher. Yeah. Um, I was just noticing how well like couple videos do, and when it's like a a duo doing something together, and I was like, well. Like we kind of do that anyway a lot of times. Like w if it's I'm picking out paint color or helping you, but that's also always behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. You ask me for paint color and I I tell you, but that's never recorded. That's never like shown on the video. And so I was like, what if we have more a like a we do it together? It will still be Mr. Build it. It will well, still it's be Enco. And cool. well, but and obviously you're doing most of the building still, but it's like if we incorporate more of us in the way we banter on our podcast already mm -hmm. and have it in the more in the video. But this is all like, scripted. We're reading off of script. We're, we're, yeah, it's right here on my phone. It's a teleprompter. Yeah. Cue <laughs> laughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I was just thinking, like, I think it'd be fun if we did. Since I'm not doing stage anymore, I still have design projects, but it's like. I just have a, more time on my hands now. And I'm like, since, you know, we have babysitters that come anyway to watch the kids. Babysitters? Like, how many gals did you hire? One. <laughs> we have a stampede of sitters. No, it's like we already have this setup. And uh -huh. I'm like, what's stopping us from like, let's do this together. I can, you know, you tell me what to do and I'll help you. Right. And so to have more of the entertainment aspect behind Mr. Build It videos is kind of what I was going for. Because yeah. you have the informative part where you're doing building something and people are interested in that but to have the entertainment side of things where we're just being ourselves and yeah. goofing off or ban yeah. bantering i think it'd be fun and then i can help you also i can be your and co and co yeah no listen i i got really excited about that idea i there was a period in time that i i i tried and, and this is definitely before the video the the videos you know youtube really got kicked off for me but um there was a moment of time that i tried to like get you on camera 
and you're so it took me a long time to get comfortable. I'm still uncomfortable, but I'm better. You're you're definitely better. You I I would say you're not only better, you're like you're you're exactly where mm-hmm. I'd imagine you to be. Mm-hmm. But there was a time where it felt like and I'm not being trying to be rude, but like it felt like pulling teeth. Yes, it was because I was so uncomfortable on camera and just I I would get like stage fright on camera mm-hmm. where I would I would kind of close up and I wouldn't know what to say and that's why I didn't like it is cuz it's like I can't be myself on camera. Why would I be on camera when I can't be myself? Mm-hmm. And my like I can't I felt weird like trying to act and so but now that I'm getting a little bit more comfortable being on camera and I think this podcast has been a big part of that is I am kind of slowly figuring out okay even though there's a camera now like just still be yourself and so i'm just getting more comfortable you know it'd be helpful if you actually turned your stool so you're facing me like i am and not just like look at the camera like you're doing I a uh, look like like you're 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 giving a presidential speech, speech? yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and you can pull that thing up that's fine it's all right well that's how i'm always sitting now it's gonna be weird well, well you're gonna get your oh, look at that look at that oh, oh. Weird. but now my face is covered oh, in the look video. At, oh my gosh. here we go look at that <laughs> Well, thank you. Look at that. And that is how you create content. Wow. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so, still learning. So you saw Mr. Build It soaring in the sky on YouTube. And you're like, and I, I want to the experience. I want a slice of that. That's what you're <laughs> like. Yes. Can you? Can I be on Mr. Pay- build this payroll, please? Uh, no, listen. I, I, I really got excited when you said that because um, I think I, I think. I don't think there's a lot of couples out there who create content together who truly do have a good chemistry. They're out there. I, in terms of our space, I don't see a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's why I thought it would be kind of camera. fun yeah. because it's usually one person or one person and his mm-hmm. or her team. Yes. But it's like to have a couple or yes, that know. are doing it together full yeah. time because most I see uh, appearances, um, you know, Jen Woodhouse and Adam, they're one of our closest friends and they they're fantastic together mm-hmm. but adam kind of makes appearances and right. as opposed to if they were like building together and so it's kind of like this it's like so and i thought it was a great idea because i what i don't like to do is trying to be too informative because i'm like well i don't want this like boring part i want to keep the entertaining i want yeah. people to see and reverse I think engineer. that's uh, really big right now is the entertain entertainment part of and not to say we're going to be juggling or anything, but I guess the entertaining we part is, be juggling. is uh, well, ju- uh, juggling video, is scheduled I'll to appear. Scheduled. <laughs> well, now you have to deliver on it. Be like I'll, the next video. I'll be scarves. like, yeah, we. Scar- you guys tell us scarves, knives. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what are we jug- You're gonna be. You should do that scene from uh, the Office oh, where Robert California no, no, comes no, out. It's not Robert California. It's uh, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell's character. Play? I don't remember his name oh, in the thing, man. but it's when Will Ferrell's like, character. Juggling. Um, to Evanescence. Like Evanescence yeah. is like bringing me back to life. Yeah. And he's like, okay, Oscar. She's like, I have real balls. Do you want to juggle those? No, 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 no. I do. I do. This, this is, is my act. This yeah. is my act. And he goes, uh, Kevin, do you trust me? Uh, yes, I trust no. you. <laughs> I'm going to bounce these balls <laughs> off your head. <laughs> That's such a good scene. Oh, I should do that. There's going to be a group it. of people who are like, I don't know what you guys just did. And there's going to be a small group of people who are who laughing their butts the off right now. And, know, and be like, yes. Know that scene. Yes. We rewatched it twelve times. I know what you're and talking about. And then he starts about. juggling yeah. with one hand. Yeah, one hand. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh man! So if you, lo- if you love The Office, you're our dear friend. So scheduling, uh, uh, scheduling, uh, uh, juggling a schedule to appear. Um, we can't commit to it, but um, we'll keep in suspense. But here's what I like about it: I don't like to being too overly like monotone and informative. Yeah. But what I do, I'm excited about. What I do, what I am excited about is uh, using opportunity where, like, if I could teach you on camera how to do something then it kind of gives people's motivation like well if well, she can, can do it i can do birds, it stone. yeah because yeah. you're it's well no still, birds are gonna get hurt in this maybe thing. if i'm juggling they will <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be juggling three dead birds <laughs> no i if i if you think you're right because if if you're like kind of teaching me in the midst of like in the video you're kind of teaching everybody else <laughs> i'm so gonna <laughs> I can imagine, you know how like you can imagine a certain scene. I imagine the scene. I'm like, okay, right. you do this and this and the other thing. And see, it's pretty simple. Like, you're like, I think I got it. You do it. And then I'm like, leave you alone. So I go do this other part and I come back. back. We've never in the history of this YouTube channel have ever bleeped c- c- uh, profanity. We just you're kept it family. I'll be like, bleeping, bleep, bleep, bleep. Do you know how expensive that tile is? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I clearly I'll ask a lot of questions. Nah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it but will be fun, though, because it will be very entertaining, I think, yeah. because I don't know a lot at all about... All I could do is hang pictures, basically, and paint. Now nah, you can roll. Do, you can more than that. But we'll see. I think, yeah, I mean, with staging, I learned how to, you know, put together furniture. And you did, actually. That yeah. was a big thing yeah. where, like, it started with... I had to, me yeah. So okay. I kind of have a little... I know how to use a drill. DIY in your yeah. thing. No, I think it'll be great. I think it'll be great. I think. Yeah, but it will, it's fun because, yeah, it could be informative too because you can teach me and then everybody else is like, oh, yeah, I had that question too, but I felt I'm stupid sure, asking. Sure. <laughs> I am glad. I'll ask the stupid questions. I, I'm glad that, yeah, you'll you'll kind of take it for the team like be the scapegoat. <laughs> I will. Um, it's like, I hope Irina asks like, what's the proper yeah. way? You guys you can email me yeah. about the questions that you don't want to ask yes. him. And I'll ask him yeah, for you guys. There you go. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I am. And the, one of the only reasons, first of all, I got really excited. But one of the only reasons I was 100% for this idea was if this was you, I want to be generous, though. Uh, if Ooh. this was you. I'd say like 10 years ago. Two years ago? Even two? Two. You've Ooh. been so much better in the last two. Yeah. It's this podcast. By the way, yeah. we're coming up on one year. Um, August really? 28th. Nicely done. In, I didn't realize in a that. a month and a half. I yeah. didn't realize that. So we'll uh, have to do some I fun. think this is like episode like 41 we could do or a something. Giveaway. Like that. Oh, we should do a giveaway. That'll be fun. Uh, I yeah. think. Uh, yeah, we're like on episode 41, I think. Yeah. I think next, maybe the next one we'll think about a giveaway. Yeah. Um, but you used to have a, an issue with, uh, what did I call it? Uh, I didn't say RBF. It was more of like, <laughs> it was, a, no, no, you had a face. It was a sour face. Oh, yeah, sour face. Well, it was when you would ask me to do something and I didn't want to do it. Like, hey, can you be on the video? And you're like, Oh. Or can you take this somewhere? Can you go to the dump for me? That was so helpful when you did those kind of things. And you got flirted on at the the the, the dump. The transfer station. Oh, yeah, was not just like a nice good. attention. Be like, hey. Yeah. You're but like, then hey, he yelled up? at me late. The, what did he do? A few times after that. After like next couple of trips. Oh, I didn't tell you about no. it. I was very offended. What did you He's do? He's kind of a. There's this one guy there that's there all the time. But was he, it was it a dirtier looking guy or was it more of like a cleaner put together he guy? He has glasses. Okay, yeah, the cleaner you know guy. The guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know exactly. There's two guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the one time he was, was he also the flirty, flirty one? Yes. Oh, he interesting. He's the flirty one, and then so he's like, bipolar. Okay. He's very bipolar, and then like maybe that's why he's single. Later, two weeks. No, not two weeks. Sorry, it was months later. Um, I went there again, and when I was pulling out, he was talking to this car in front of me, and. I was standing behind them for like five minutes. I'm like, I'm just going to go around him. So I start going around him and he goes like this. Stop. And I, he's like, you can't do that. You can't go around him. And I was like, why? And so and then the car in front of me starts pulling out. And mm -hmm. I was like, I was just going to go around him. He's like, that's so dangerous here in the transfer center. You can't do that. And oh, he was like yelling at me hard. And I was like, dude, I'm sorry. And I just like waved bye to him and left. Like, did you open your window? Yeah, so you, I was trying you, you to you talk did some exchange him. Yeah, yeah. cuz I was like You said, "Dude, I'm sorry." No, he was like he was yelling at me and I go I actually t like kind of barked back at him cuz he What would you do? How'd you bark? I said They call I'm it a, First of all, they call it a clap back. <laughs> clap back. I don't okay, know. You no, no, clap back. You got to barked because yeah, you know, I have no bite. Okay, okay that's fine. Okay, <laughs> well, let me hear. That's good. No, what how would you do? What'd I, you, I was at? like I'm trying to go around him. I'm in a hurry. Like, he's just standing in front of me. Yeah. There's nobody going around. He's like, some car could be going in front of you and you could hit him. Yeah. I was, it was in that part um, where like that stop sign is. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where yes. like. Yeah. You're about to come out. Kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's plenty of room. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the only car and the other side. Nobody was there. And he was yelling at me so hard. And I was like, and I was like, and, and I kept like trying to talk back to him like nobody was there i am in a hurry i need to leave he was just standing in front of me talking to you and yeah. you could tell their conversation was just like how are you doing today? yeah like because he was like it's hot today yeah, oh my gosh because you can tell by his facial expressions that he was like literally just bored they're and not answering. mapping and out around me <laughs> yeah. he saw me standing behind the guy and he's still talking to him uh. so i think he was just like offended that i like was a girl and like kind of yeah. went around anyway and i was like he was in front of me. I'm trying to, and as I'm talking, he's talking above me and going, nope, nope, you're oh. wrong. And he did that. And I was like, see ya. And you I did, did that? that to him. Nice. I was like, bye. Nicely done. Well, I was hey, so, you, get some, you get some hands for that one. Yeah. Um, first of all, I think the guy who's doing okay. that is a guy who got a little bit of power and now yes. he's trying to wield yes. that power. That's yes. usually how I works. could tell. He was like, I have the power. Right I now. have yeah. power here. People have to listen to yes. me. The teacher said, I wear the gold sheriff <laughs> star. And I, when I wear the gold sheriff star, everybody have, has to listen to me. <laughs> listen, I have a whistle and a <laughs> sheriff star. I was like, dude, you're so power hungry. Get out of here. That's and so nice. the next time I came, I was like, I hope he doesn't recognize nah, me because I cut. But he didn't. No. Yeah. 
Okay. And so- then he was trying to be all friendly with me again. But the funny thing is, there was one other time I came back, probably like a month ago, and he yelled at somebody else. Because the person started pulling out because yeah. the person thought he was talking to him, but he wasn't, mm. which is like an honest mistake. Mm-hmm. And he, as they're tra- like backing up into one of the bays, he was like, stop. And he does this thing when he says like, what is the stop? In the name of love, no. before you break, break my, heart. my heart. No. <laughs> Think it over. What is, is the universal symbol like a yeah, hand well, gesture? Yeah, I would imagine this? if somebody did that to me. he did another no. one. There was an, oh, this. Oh, Simon. That's what he oh, does. Oh, halt. Oh, halt. Halt. This is what he did. He yeah. did fist this. Up. The fist. Well, it's either the socialist like, thing or whatever. Like, he did the fist. Like a fist up like, in there. dude. Oh, come on. And um, he did that to somebody else and like was so pissed at them. Walked up to the car and was like yelling. I was like, dude, you got to settle down. Yeah. Um, it was an honest mistake. And I was like, so, I'm getting out of here. So in the blue collar world, uh, I've learned that there's a way to How talk to people. How do we get on that subject? How do we um, get on the transfer Because uh, sour face, the oh, things me doing, yeah. they go in tra- transfer center. Um, in the blue collar world, um, in the trades or whatever, there's a way to talk to people. It's like the episode of uh, New Girl. Uh, New Girl. Nick which Nick, the contractor. Yes, yes. Yeah. They, this is true. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm about to teach you this. And first of all, I'm really proud of you that you weren't feeling like he was more dominant than you. You were kind of like, whatever. I was whatever. so offended, though. Like, I actually, like, when I left, I had... an um, adrenaline dump? I had this, like, adrenaline yeah, rush because you, I never yell at people. Well, because that's the thing. Because usually you leave that situation, you feel like you got stomped over, yes. and you feel kind of broken, yes. or you feel this, like, yeah. release of an So here's what I'm going to teach you in these kind of environments. Okay. And Kyle, I know you're listening to this podcast, and I need you to make sure you bleep everything I just say. Okay, you start out with this. Hey, <laughs> settle down. And you throw him the bird the whole time. <laughs> I'll do that next time. Okay. And then you drive off. Next time, he'll show you more respect. There's a there's a yeah. level. To- Luckily, they don't remember you because there's so many no, cars no, there, that there's drive a through. level. You, I've learned with people who try to have more bark than you, you have to yeah. match their, yeah. with the, what they're doing. If they're at a 10, you got to be at a 10. You can't be at an yeah. eight because they see, ah, you're being weak right now. So you I have to meet them yeah. at Especially yeah. a woman. Like he was yeah. probably like, oh no, like who are you? What are you doing? You're doing this wrong. Yes. I'm going to like yell at you. So oh, you're taking your done. husband's truck. Yeah. And you're, you know. It, by the time, by the way, every And you're like, I'll like, have you know, I'm the stepmom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this he's, is my truck. He's banging me. Yeah. <laughs> Do so, you know who my husband is? Um, I was going to say, oh, by the way, every time I go to the transfer center, every single time, because lately it's been so busy. So I don't know. if Maybe some people don't know. The transfer center is like the in-between, the dump. Yeah. You take stuff there, and then they take it to the dump. Yeah. And it's a lot closer. So the dump is like a 30-minute drive from mm-hmm. here, and then the transfer center is like 10. Yeah. So we always go there because it's so much closer. Yeah. Anyway, every time I go, I back... The, the that truck th- in that thing up. i back that thing up I, I back the truck in i get out every time there's a guy there that goes kind of like what take him yeah, back a little yeah. bit because i'm always like just like this yeah younger 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 yeah no just like a girl because there's every time i go there's never a woman there ever i've so seen when I, a, i've seen women like older women yeah. there in their little honda crvs yes. with like a, a thing and yes. a chair in the back yeah. She's yes, like, one thing when they like go drop it off, yeah. But I'm like always with the truck with like this crap. You're ton on of a stuff. lifted truck yeah, yeah. with 30, 35s like, oh, on it or 37s what is on this it. Girl doing? And they always they Mutters. always look at me like I don't know what I'm doing, and yeah. I like get out, start like lifting. Stuff they're expecting they're like, to help yes, you back it up yes. too. They're like, which is funny because one of the times there was a a gal there that the guy had to help her back. Uh huh. Yeah. Back in, but I mean, you have a. Uh, what is it called? Backup camera. So that helps a lot. Well, it's a tiny little two by two inch screen. It's not. I feel like it still helps. Anyway, yeah, no. it's always funny because I'm like, yeah, I'm here to dump. Yeah. Some stuff. I'm here to dump. <laughs> Kyle clipped that. I mean, I said I'm here to dump. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't say take a dump. So. Yeah. <laughs> but now I just did. We can clip that. Too. Listen, I'm all for it. Uh, I'm. I'm. But going back to, have... to sour face yeah. is, I did. You know why though? I had a sour face why? because. I had my own stuff I was doing and you would ask me to do help you on top of all of the stuff I had to do. And so it just felt like so much work, extra work versus when now I have a little bit more like time and freedom to make my own schedule and make it how I want it. And now I feel like I don't have a sour face because it's like 
I don't I don't have like one thousand other things going on. Right, but Maybe in all fairness, it. I I think where I was taken back with your sour faces was where when you started Mint and Pine, I was there to help you mm -hmm. do the heavy lifting. Um, and then as you expanded, I didn't have to do it much except on moments where I was like the last Every once in a resort. While. And so like, obviously I have my own things that I'm going, so I understood that. And not to say I didn't give you sour faces. I gave you plenty of sour faces. Oh, towards the end. You the sour, much. well, I mean, even in the, well, I don't know if I did more in the beginning as well, but you did less in the beginning because you were trying to help me and you knew how much I needed. Oh yeah. Them. Yeah. But, but in the end, I think I did it because I was like, you didn't plan for this and because you didn't plan this is for all it, your fault i now i have to like set my stuff back and it the lack of planning was i get tremendously irritated with people who are inconsiderate of other people's time mm. and and the ability to plan for things is one of the biggest markers to be inconsiderate about it and so that's right. the way i read it so if i'm at the store and somebody's like oh hold on prime example my tattoo artist I'm not gonna say who he is, but he every time I come over there, you think it's he like to the no, podcast? he doesn't. But every time I come in there, no matter how much prep we did, how much we settled exactly on the work that we're doing and exactly on the image that we're creating, it's still like a seven-hour day that I block out that he's only tattooing me for three hours. It's because he'll stop and talk to somebody that comes in, you know, like a buddy of his, or then he's like, "Oh, I thought you wanted it like this." Oh, my bad. Right? Let me fix it real quick, and then. And it's so irritating when somebody doesn't respect your time. Mm -hmm. It's so irritating to me. And so if somebody kind of goes like when you like, hey, listen, we're doing on this day. I, I scheduled that like that. Here's what we're doing. And to me, I go, OK, that's the mission. I'm going to be part of the mission. It's go time. But if you're going like they can't, the movers can't come. I don't know what to do. And to me, I'm like, great. I have to be the last ditch effort. Fine. OK. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. what I that's the inconsiderate part of the time. Do you feel like you were respecting my time by asking me to do stuff for you? I think with you, I, I, I didn't give too much uh, attention because I felt like you owed me based That's off true. of how many times I helped you. Ooh. Not that I was keeping count, but I was like, you know she what I mean? Did, I did this for her. Like, well, like, yeah, like all this times I did this for her and she can't just do this thing for me. You know, that was kind of where oh, I was trying okay. to come from. And I, it wasn't right. I don't think it was right. But Oh, I, can you say that again? You were wrong. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that differently the well, first time. <laughs> I, sometimes echoes go weird That's in this garage. These I'm microphones, weird something. Sticks. <laughs> something with the microphones. It's not working. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to have you along. Uh, this will be fun. Um, and uh, I think it'll be nothing but, but um, good entertaining. content. Entertaining. Yeah, entertaining. <laughs> I think the wor very to worst case. The least. Worst yeah. case scenario, yeah. It's entertaining. Worst case scenario, break a few things and I yeah. mess up a few projects and it will be great. Yeah, it'll be fun. Cool. Um, thanks for listening. Um, follow us on all. You probably know Everything, what we're doing. You know yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. Um, just Give share this a, podcast. Do me a favor. Yeah. Just share it. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll, we'll do a giveaway next time. And girls. All right. Bye. Bye.